Welcome Cancer, this is your birthdays, okay? This is a new deck I'm using, it's a Russian deck. I want to say welcome to all you Cancers, happy birthday for the people who were born 6th of June until 12th of June. Happy, happy birthday to all you Cancers, okay? I'm using the new deck so I have to like um, hit them out and shake them up. Okay, so Cancers, thank you for being here. This week for your birthdays is forward movement. So you have the energy of the chariot for this um, solar year. Okay, so right after your birthday begins your new solar year. So if you were born on the 6th, on the 7th, begin your new solar year until um, the 5th of uh, June next year. So... <clears throat> I want you guys to get aware of what is happening and how it's affecting you. So for everyone, because this is a collective reading, you can go use the link in the stamp below in order to check out and see what exactly is going to be happening for you guys in your solar year. This year is a fire year for you guys. It's about movement, relocation, transfer, um changing work changing jobs all of these situation is going to be coming up for um you you um uh, you cancers okay so remember that uh, um there is just shifts of energies that is going to be coming up and it's going to be transpiring so remember to use the link to see um which day if you were born on the 12th to um um you see the last link that is for the days okay all right so let's get in this reading for the birthday peoples you have the year of the chariot enjoy it it's all about movement relocation changing jobs that sort of a thing so your first message come out and i see a tower moment is coming down so if you were born on the 6th of june a tower moment is coming down that is releasing you out of the issue a situation in order to bring you forward in a positive direction in your journeys ahead okay so expect a um, some unexpected situation where something is going to be leaving your life and it's going to be replaced with something positive in this year. So let's do this um, bowl by bowl. Um, um, how we're going to be doing this is going to, we're going to be seeing for each and every sign what is going to be happening um, and how this is going to be affecting your life. I'm sorry guys, I got to put my glasses on because these are cards or Tinder. They're rushing, so be aware of this so what is leaving your life for the people who are born on the sick i see the queen of swords whoever this queen of swords is and whatever is transpiring this person could be leaving your life this person could be passing away leaving your life it could be some legal issues that you are going through all of a sudden it's going to be coming to an end and this is going to be good um what else is coming out i see um the young people an aquarian gemini or a libran if this was a divorce some of you could be divorcing some of you could be in a relationship with an aquarian gemini or libran or an aquarian gemini or libran i see the female figure is in reverse and i see the male figure is standing up but they are also moving away now the legal issue could be the aquarian gemini or libra person and this is the reason why you are having such a tall moment with this person okay so there is um when a year comes up is issues that you're dealing with communication issues issues where um someone could have been blocking your way an aquarian gemini or libra person or a um, legal issue or issues that you were dealing with the message came out for you guys and it's a letter you're going to be receiving a letter a letter is going to be coming in for you guys letting you be aware that an issue and a situation is now over there was some deceptive play and deceptive situation that was transpired and i see whoever this person that was blocking some of you they're going to be out of your way and i see you're going to be receiving a message that a situation has ended okay then i see the energy of some of you are going to be happy that the situation is ended some of you could be getting married to an aquarian gemini or libra person be aware of this so happiness and joy could be coming in and it's going to be a wonderful alignment of energy because what we see here is happening and transpiring is that whatever the news that is coming in for the people who were born on the six whatever the changes that is going to transpire in your world is going to be a very 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 positive changes that is going to be helping you 
to create some balance in your world and bring positive um, life changes for you. So this is going to be good. Then we see the energy of karmas. So some of you were dealing with karmas with an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra or a legal issue. Um, a whole lot of you were dealing with karmas. You could be reconnecting with your soulmate that is an Aries. Um, Gemini or Libra so there is a lot of air energy a lot of communication a lot of air energy people that could be leaving your life or entering your life whatever it's um, the message that is coming out is a very positive message so be aware of this and enjoy your year then we are looking at the wheel of fortune for the people who were born on the seventh this energy of the wheel of fortune is very good it's going to be a very very lucky year it's going to be a year of yes whatever you decide to do in this year it's going to be a year of yes okay i'm sorry i see a tweet 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 it's going to be a year of yes so whatever is happening it is a yes the wheel of fortune and the chariot is going to be moving you and bringing back your um wealth st um your financial stability your fortune is going to be coming in and i see news of um the page is coming in um so news is going to be coming in um some of you could be um going to be having a child okay so if that was your wishes and your dream you're going to be having a child and some of you are going to be receiving a message of uh, money is going to be coming in so fortune is going to bring you a whole lot of money so whoever you are and whatever that was happening and transpiring i see unexpected money is going to be returned to you because people are going to be finding out some truths about some deceptive situation that has played in the past um, some of you, your parents could be passing away and leaving you a lot of money. Some of you, whatever money that was stolen is going to be returned. So this is good for the people who were born on the 7th. It is a positive year where some good news is going to be coming in about a whole lot of money. Some of you could win the lottery in this year. So be aware and be open towards the energies that is coming in because uh, you could uh, be receiving a message in this year that you are going to be winning the lottery. So this is good. So it is a positive alignment of energy, what is coming up and what is transpiring. Um, whenever the pages come in with news, it's always, uh, I told you, some of you, if you were trying to get pregnant, definitely it's going to be happening. I see that if your child was in some form of issue or situation, it is going to be resolved, okay? And I see some good news is coming in where um, it could be a young person um, letting you know of some money that was supposed to be there for you. And this thing is also a message that uh, some of you, a new baby is going to be born and this is going to be good. It's going to be a positive year. I see a lot of happiness and joy. A lot of happiness and joy for um, you guys that was born on the 7. It's a very, very lucky year for you guys. So use the luck and enjoy yourself because I see whatever that was happening and transpiring. This lucky year is going to bring you guys a lot of financial stability in your world that is going to be coming up. And this is going to be good. So some unexpected news from a government institute or organization. Um, is going to be coming in bringing some of you some really positive information about some money that you were not aware of and they're going to be returning a whole lot of money to you because they have find out um, some deceptive play that has happened and has transpired and they're going to be resolving it uh, this corporation institution could have seen that some of you um, were left a whole lot of money and that you did not receive this money because uh, whoever that was supposed to alert you about the money it didn't happen but some of you are going to be definitely winning the lottery as we move forward to the people who were born on the 8th I see it is a year where you're going to be shown things that you weren't aware of it's as if uh, the, your spirit guides is going to be coming up and alerting you of things that you weren't aware of and it's going to be opening up doors of opportunities I see love is going to be coming in so I see it's as if your spirit guides and your guiding angels is going to be showing you someone who you were not aware of that that person is the love of your life and this person is someone between the age of 18 and 45 they're going to be alerting you that this is a person 
who is the love of your life they're going to be alerting you about something about this person that is going to be affecting your world so be aware of this so this is a positive year because it's a year where you guys are going to be finding out something you could be finding out something about your child whoever your child is um, they're going to be finding out and showing up if your child was in some problems some issues some situation that was going on with your child they are going to be um, helping out a situation um, where um, your child new love is going to be coming in I see people are going to be offering you a lot of love but uh, whoever, ooh, whoever is offering you love it's my um, whoever is offering you love is uh, uh, someone who is coming in who is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius person I see a whole lot of uh, deliriousness that is transpiring and is happening this new love that is coming in is going to be powerful and it is going to be helping a lot of you a new love with a new baby or a new love I see fortune is here for you guys so, so again you can see the transition and the positive energies that is coming up that a whole lot of love but also fortune is coming up for the people who were born on the eight a whole lot of fortune is going to be coming up in your world and this is going to be good and I see that a whole lot of you are going to be receiving some form of award um, that is going to be coming into you but not only awards but a lot of fortune that is going to be coming your way and this is going to be good so it is really a positive alignment of energies that is going to be coming up um, they're going to also show you new ways of making money so you people who were born on the 8th of June you're going to be having a really um, wonderful year because you're meeting your twin flame my soulmate and it's a fire sign person but also you're going to be receiving a lot of fortune a lot of money so we're moving on to people who were born on the 9th you have the energy of uh, um, the Sun the energy um, yes the energy of the Sun oh my god this is so beautiful um, I haven't done a review on them the energy of the Sun is coming in and this is going to be really wonderful um, and some information came out about the Queen of the queen of uh, um, pentacles um, so this is uh, absolutely beautiful um, it is a really beautiful queen um, that is happening and transpire so you're dealing with two queens you're dealing with the queen of pentacles you're dealing with a lot of material um, people here um, and um, this is so beautiful so I see a lot of positive alignment of energy that is happening and it's transpiring a whole lot of alignment of energy where um, success is going to be coming out for the people who are born on the night you have the energy of the Sun um, um, this is good um, the energy of the Sun bring a lot of possibilities um, for you that is coming up which is just so beautiful and we have uh, success that you're going to be successfully overcoming some issues you were dealing with uh, mother figures okay these are women 50 years and older and whoever this um, fa this um, um, woman is she's a fire sign an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius so we're going to be looking at the adjoining energy that is coming up so a lot of you are dealing with older people okay 50 years and older family members and I see some information is going to be coming out about uh, these Queens okay so it's a Queen of Cups uh, the Queen of Wands is in reverse reverse but the Queen of Cups some information is coming out about uh, these two people and they're all um, 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 full washing people and I see some delirious uh, um, some deliriousness and delirious situation that is happening and transpiring so whatever is happening and transpiring it's going to be very positive it, it is going to be a very positive alignment of energies that is going to be coming up and um, you're going to be so powerfully aligned with 
energies that is going to be transpiring um with these maturity and i see huge success is going to be coming up healing is going to be coming up some of you whatever issues and situation is there you're going to be having a healing um with your parents and if uh, your mother is um a pisces cancer or scorpion or a aries or sagittarius i see a lot of healing is going to be coming up between you and this person whatever that was happening and transpiring there's a lot of healing that is going to be coming up and i see transition so if your parents were sick your mother was sick i'm seeing res uh, resolution as we look at the people who were born on the 10th we see the energy of judgment some information is a year where information is going to be coming out because you're dealing with the energy of the chariot and a whole lot of information is going to be coming out in this year the information um heartbreaks okay some information that came out and heartbreaks is coming up heartbreaks for um this king of cups whoever this king of cups is is a man 50 years and older i see heartbreaks is coming up for this man 50 years and older i see some information is coming out that is going to be hurting this man 50 years and older so if you are in a relationship with a scorpion a pisces or a cancer or this could be a father figure where some information is going to be coming out about this person where this person is going to be heartbroken um from what the information that is coming at them so i see heartbreak so for the people who were born on the 10th there is some heartbreaks heartbreaks that is happening and transpiring for the people who were born on the 10th um whatever the heartbreaks is the tree of swords is upright and it has to do with your father or um some one that you're dealing with whoever this person is has done some injustice and i see truth is coming out about this person and it has to do with um some situation that has to do with uh, a, a pisces cancer or a scorpion i see an investigation is um taking place against this person whoever this person is uh, um he's definitely a pisces cancer or a scorpion and they're investigating this person this person is 50 years and older and they're investigating this person okay so be aware of that whatever is happening and transpire i see a resolution is going to be coming out um so if you were dealing with um an older person 50 years and older some information and some investigation is taking place but i see that a resolution is going to be coming out because they're going to be finding out what this person have done who is this person and you men you men um 50 years and older are going to be having some judgment call for the rest of you i see resolution is coming up in your life for the people who were born on the 11th you have the energy of the empress so this is a money card this is the healing of the maturity this is some of you could become a mother in this year this is the healing between you and your mom but this is also the energy of uh, um a, a whole lot of uh, maturity um a situation that is going to be coming up and transpiring and this is definitely definitely going to be good um so be aware of this because uh, i see some conflicts some of you are going to be having some conflicts uh, conflicts with your mom conflicts with um women uh, who are boss to you and i see um conflicts uh, with a fire sign man okay so whoever this fire sign man is this man is a leo and i see that um some of you are going to be if you're in a relationship with a Leo or you're having a Leo in your life as your partner, um, you're going to be having some um, uh, um, money conflicts with this Leo because they're going to be finding out the truth of this Leo and what this Leo has done. So I see um, some of you are dealing with a Leo. It could be a father figure, but it could be your partner. Whoever this person is, there is going to be um, some issues with some money um conflicts with a leo and some money your materialistic wealth and they're going to be finding out or you are going to be finding out of some dismissive situation that this leo has done and a whole leap of conflicts um with this leo and a whole a lot of deceptiveness and conflicts with this leo so i see you men are really really going to be having a problem with your business partner or with your father or with a friend or a father figure because this energy is definitely coming out for you men um, who were born on 
um, the 11th okay so I see this energy is coming out and I see a block is been placed by this man or whoever this person is so um, there is um, a lot that is happening and transpiring and um, you have to be aware of the energies my cup is leaking oh the water is so cool so whatever is happening and transpiring they're going to be finding out something and a man is going to be blocked this man is definitely definitely going to be blocked because they have found out what this man has done so whoever this man is and however this man is coming up is a fire sign man um it is a older fire sign man or older person Whoever and whatever this man has done, I see that this man has blocked for some deceptive play that they um, this man has created in your world. So let's move on to the people who are born on the 12th. Oh God. But you're leaving this behind because the energy of the chariot is there. So whoever was born on the 12th, you're leaving this energy behind. This energy is the energy um from some deceptiveness and deceptive play that has transpired in your world and it has to do um with the energy of the you ladies you ladies are going to be having um some huge issues whoever you ladies are you're going to be having some huge issues dealing with some um for some form of lower energy in your life so you ladies you gotta be aware um yes the three of cups in reverse uh so ladies um this is definitely you guys you're going to be have to deal with some lower energies um this is deceptiveness this is envy jealousy so a whole lot of you ladies are going to be dealing with some really envy that is going to be coming at you where people are trying are using negative energies negative forces to come at you so you you ladies especially you ladies men and ladies who were born on the 12th you gotta be aware of this situation um in this year because it's going to be uh, but you're going to be overcoming this so that's what i said that you're dealing with the energy of uh, um you're dealing with the energy of uh, the chariot that means you're coming out of this lower energy thing that was affecting you and you're going to be celebrating coming out of this low energy that was affecting you guys and this is going to be wonderful so beautiful beautiful energy i see that it was a young person who was creating um this um deceptive uh, lower energy uh, at you and sending it at you and you're going to be celebrating leaving this negative forces and this negative energy that was sent to you so young and old people you're going to be transforming getting out of uh, some deceptive situation that was created towards you um some um horrible issues that was transpiring in your world this year is going to be removing you removing you out of uh, um, the problem and situation that you were dealing with. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I have my party cup and <laughs> and it is leaking. So um, from that. So people who are born on the 12th, wow. It's, it's like um, you're just going to be leaving um, because it's a chariot. So you're victoriously overcoming um, some really horrible deceptive play that was happening and transpiring in your world and you are getting out of this and getting out of this on time intact and in a very very positive way so because it's a birthday reading i'm gonna do oh two reading um you can take one card one or card two 